Bulgaria is currently um, government, governed by interim cabinet that the, the ex-government resigned just a week ago under a very big citizen pressure because there has been um, daily protests for more than a year against this cabinet. The protests started against uh, the assignment of Delian Pevsky as a chief of the national security. I say that because the name Delian Pevsky is a key name in the media situation as well, in the media sector here. Basically, he is a person who concentrates a, a massive political, media, and business power in his hands. So um, he, is, he is basically a member of, of, of uh, the Turkish minority party, which was one of the governing party. He is also uh, an owner of uh, a good number of medias here in Bulgaria. He also has some um, experience as investigator, and he controls business for millions, billions even. So in the Bulgarian society, he's seen as, as almost as an octopus. He's seen as a demon, as someone who has influence in, in the judicial system, in the parliament, in media, in business, and basically he can do whatever he wants. So the, the, the problems, uh, the, real, the, the real big problems in Bulgaria started a couple of months ago when he um, started fighting with his business partner, who is a bank owner. And this led to a bank crisis because of a big political and media pressure over this bank. So now this bank is closed and the savings of, of many, many Bulgarian people are blocked, they're trapped. So this, make, uh, this makes Bulgarian people worry about the results of such a concentration, media uh, uh, and business uh, power, power can lead to. And this, I think, helps a lot our campaign and makes this um, important uh, important cause. So the, this is this is this is the situation in Bulgaria, and uh, the message to all the other countries um, I could I could have is um, if you don't want your country to be the next one resembling Bulgaria, do sign this petition. Be wary about the consequences that such a media concentration can lead to. Because, okay, today it's my savings being trapped in a bank because of a media and politi politi uh, politi political attack, but tomorrow it could be yours.